guys, welcome back to Corn Soul Kids and Loomis bike video for the month of November. And yay, I uh, lined up a few orchids which are in bloom right now. Let us start with this one. The Phalaenopsis Amwensis Variation Simanis from Rulke. I got this one in April and it arrived in bud. Two tiny buds that were started to be created on, on the spike. And now it's the beginning of November and the two buds open up. Can you imagine seven months, about seven months for them to, to be created? So this is a rarity. <laughs> Something to be really, really careful with. And scent is the best thing with, about this orchid. As I said before, citrusy, lemony, um, yeah, a beautiful scent. And I remember the scent from my previous one, the mealybug orchid. Yeah. Really lovely. Oh, yes, it's a gorgeous scent. So, over to the next one. The little orchid, the Cattleya type orchid with a long name. Orasi, Chantsu, Golden Orange, Golden Boy. And also seen it's classified as a Potinara, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always the same with orchids, you never know. So after a while, you can just get tired of it and call them their own names. Yeah. But anyway, this little one is really a blooming size one. Created this lovely, lovely little bloom. It's really not, <laughs> it's quite tiny as you can see, but still really, really beautiful. Not really as the picture described it, <laughs> with reddish lip and, no, a little bit more reddish bloom and a little bit more yellowish lip. Yeah, I will put a pic here, a pop-up, so you can see what I mean. But still, it's lovely. Yeah, doesn't look anything like the ones I've already got. So that's good. A little red marking to the lip as well. It's really nice, it's cute. And slight scent. Perhaps it's, um, it's more scented during night time. I'm not sure. I will try it and sniff it <laughs> this evening as well and see if there's any difference. And as I said, it's been blooming before. It had this sheath, open sheath, when I got it with an old spike here. So I knew that it really was blooming size as uh, described. But it's funny that I really had to produce this one, and this one, this one, <laughs> as well as this one, and this one. I mean, all the large pseudobob it really created in the last year since I got it in my care. And now it's creating another one. Perhaps this one will also bloom. It seems to be creating her buds in really young, uh, not really, not fully matured pseudobobs. So now I know its behavior at least. So perhaps another one before long. Really beautiful orchid to have. A space saver. If I stick it up a little bit more properly, it will be even more sa uh, space saving. Yeah. I'm satisfied with this one, really. And the next one is my um, Swarta purchase not long ago, in October, I guess. Um, Oncidium Tsiku Marguerite trying to Glory. I got it because of its marguerite looking, <laughs> as the name reveals. Uh, quite large for being an, a small, um, a tiny twinkle type one. I'll say a tiny twinkle type one. Uh, yeah, the blooms are quite large, almost the size of the cacao I just showed you. No, not really, but but large enough for this size orchid, don't you think? And um, a couple of spikes from the same cane on to both sides, that's great. And... Hmm... Yay, really nice scent. It's like a, the freshest uh, perfume you can ever find. Really fresh. Beautiful. A couple of more buds to open up still, but... Yeah. Just as described in the web shop. Ah. Really? And this beautiful one 
that I just purchased from um, Okisamo. Papupedalum specerianum. Look at it. It opened up yesterday and let's see if I can um, focus a bit more. I'm not so steady on my hands. Whoops! Really not, I noticed. Um, <laughs> don't ask me why. But look at it. Spicerianum. Lovely, lovely lip and details and and the uh, petals are really curly, <laughs> twisted. Yay, beautiful. I really like the purple striking to the to the sepal. It's gorgeous. Well, no scent really, but I can be wrong. I've been wrong about that before. <laughs> nice. And here's the absolutely gorgeous No ID Ketley Orchid. Uh, a purchase from uh, two years back uh, at the at a last, shall I say, Christmas Orchid Society meeting that we had. And what happened next? Well, I got her in bloom. She had two lovely blooms on this cane. I repotted her into bark and in a plastic container, plastic pot. And ever since she produced a few week of canes. And, well, it took a bit of a time for her to uh, establish in my conditions and after being repotted. I think I put her in this clay pot one and a half years ago with a mixture of bark, sphagnum moss, rock wool, charcoal, I think, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, finally, she created this lovely, lovely large cane here. As well as this one, of course. This one is also well, <laughs> a quite good cane, which produced a, a sheath, as a matter of fact, a couple of months ago, but this one didn't perform, perhaps uh, in the future, but I don't think so. But, well, this one came directly out of the apex without a sheath. So, yeah, this is her inheritance. Sheath? No sheath. So, yeah, yeah, it's fun. Um, let's see about the scent. Yay! I just noticed she's scented. Yeah, so she's probably scented during the midday hours, perhaps. Noon. Lovely, but it's a slight scent, but still gorgeous. So I'm really pleased with this one. The little lip resembles a nose. A bit of a nose. Ugly nose, that is, but anyway. <laughs> and I must say that I love the Galeandra genus more and more for each day. You want to know why? I guess you already had the answer. <laughs> what I'm aiming at. <laughs> On the faded spike, she now starting to create yet another three buds, I believe. Look, I think it's three. Yeah, three buds. And <laughs> I mean, firstly, she faded one spike. It uh, One spike blasted and the other one came out right. And after a while, the blaster spike started to create some new buds to the to the end of the of the um, of the spike, yeah. And now, when it's finished blooming, the spike, I mean, it's really starting to create creating a few more buds. So this is going to be a long time blooming, guys. Uh, this is a miraculous orchid. I wish I could find some more of this genus. In that case, I would fill my whole apartment with Galliandras. Yay. Believe it or not, I love it. Yeah, I think this is bud number seven or eight on the same spike, which doesn't seem to be fading yet. And two of them together before one of them drops. Yeah, that's nice to see. I wish it could stay this way forever. The couple of blooms showing simultaneously. Nevertheless, it would be a really spectacular show to see a couple of blooms open at the same time. Oh, only yesterday, this little bud opened up yesterday. His first time blooming ever. Brassicatonti Gyrek Star from 
curling. I got this one and a half years ago, almost two years ago. It's the first time it ever bloomed for me, as you, as I said. And I blew, I think I got it as a blooming size orchid. And yeah, he produced a couple of sheaths down there, but nothing ever happened. Uh, no. So this is the first time it really managed to bloom. Or create a real bud that lost it. And yeah, what about the bloom? It's not fragrant, I think. Uh, perhaps during night time, but I'm not up then. So very often, or I shouldn't be up at least. But I think it's a gorgeous one. Um, direct Fire Star, it says. Um, purple lip, pinkish petals and sepals, white edges to the center part of the lip uh, and the throat. Yeah, it's quite, it's a, it's a beautiful one, a beautiful bloom, but I would like to see it in larger cluster than one. <laughs> yeah, should be a little bit outnumbered, shouldn't you? Next time you will be right, but you are amazing. You really are. Um, this is bloom number two on my Psychopsis mariposa relip. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I don't know which way's up or which way's down. <laughs> it looks like a, like a, some kind of knot of uh, petals and sepals. So, well, going in any direction, I cannot see what's what. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a bloom. And perhaps there will be another one after this one fades. I almost forgot to uh, film this one, so it's been open for a while now. Yeah. And um, the buds on my RLC Fushu Glory Happy Holiday are developing nicely. Four buds on two canes this time. Um, uh, where is it? Yeah, the little bit brownish sheath, old sheath there. It should be uh, containing something if it follows its uh, usual normal schedule, but it's not. So, but at least she produced two good canes with a little bit of light to help it. And well, guys, my Epidendrum Nocturnum opened up its new buds rapidly. I, <laughs> I barely had time to even notice that it wasn't bud. <laughs> before it opened up its bloom. And I love its bloom. Yeah, it's similar to, uh, quite similar to um, Parkinsonianum. But now it's about 8 o'clock, um, shall we say, 8 o'clock p.m. 8 p.m. And it's not scented now, but I bet it will be later on. So, a new spike came out from the same place it had its last blooming. So here's the old flower spike, what remains of it. And it also started to, yay, create another bud from an old cane that's been there for, yeah, since I got it, I believe. This is one of its first canes, so this is um, quite unusual behavior, but it's very much welcomed. <laughs> I'm not complaining, yay. I wonder what this tall cane is gonna bring in the future. I really, really love this orchid. Even though its blooms are quite um, commonly known for being pollinating itself, last time it had a large seed pot here, which bursted and spread its meal, <laughs> or shall we say its pollen, of course, but it looks like flower all over the place. But this one is lovely. I love this orchid, I really do. And here's another good looking orchid that's been growing on so well in my conditions. It's my Dendrobium Dawn Mary, or however its name is pronounced. It really doesn't matter, I bet you all know what it looks like. Whitish blooms with orange center. Lovely one. But isn't it something coming up here in the apex? Hmm. Well, maybe I shouldn't be so uh, hopeful, but maybe it's growing like crazy. And this cane is the best cane it ever created, but it's still sitting in bark. And well, I thought it uh, was doing so great in there. So 
I didn't touch it. I didn't, um, shall we say, transition it into semi-hydro or anything of sorts. I didn't feel the need to do it. Yes, but I can stay there. So, as watering my bulbophyllums yesterday, in this community pot, where am I? This one should be in bloom right now. Hush on you. Yeah. This, um... Randolph, no. <laughs> this bulbophyllum gutulatum is not in bloom this year. Yeah, it's been not been doing all that great lately. But it's a little colleague, it's a neighbor plant in a community pot, is doing great. Bulbophyllum fascinator. <laughs> Look. A little spike. And it looks like it's going to be able to develop and not dry out or anything of the sorts. And this one carries the loveliest blooms you can find. I adore them. So it's going to be a good show when this one opens up in my next Bloom and Spike video, I hope. And this beautiful orchid with the terrible name, RLC Yen Corona Green Genie. I moved her from her a little bit put away spot. Yeah. Only to discover that she was all covered in scale again. Oh, this orchid is really making me crazy, all right? I even transitioned her into semi-hydroponics a few months ago. And, yeah, all of her roots are going upwards to the sky. So, well, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, she had the same behavior when sitting in park, so... I don't know, it's just her behavior, I guess. But um, what I did find was a little, little, little tiny bud coming out from this really weak growth, which she created after being transitioned into some hydro. Hmm, yeah, she always does that after being reported or such. She rejects it. She doesn't really fancy being reported, but she's a still, um, she's still a reliable bloomer, nevertheless. As you can see, so yeah, one nice bloom at last for quite a bit. I love her blooms, but she's a quite ugly orchid. Not a nice overall appearance, I must admit. But anyway, thank you for the little achievement you provided. And my lovely Bulbophyllum falcadum is now starting to perform. Yeah, I was a little bit worried. Last week, I was a little bit worried that this one uh, wouldn't perform this autumn. There was something wrong with it. Something that it didn't like in my care. But, as I looked, it rapidly started to create some spikes. It's this one. It's on its way. And of opening up. And, uh, yeah, a few others I... Yeah, here, perhaps, a little thingy in the middle, and yeah, a few more. So, it's not a good blooming, perhaps, but I, I believe that it um, it produces uh, spikes um, in sequence, so, for a bit, so, uh, well, if I remember it correctly, so, yeah. The lovely Encyclia Prismatocarpa, yeah, she's performing again. <laughs> When you get her going, she won't stop. Look. A good spike yet again. That's following up the other one, the previous one. That's great. And she's producing new uh, canes down there. New growth, a few new growth. And this one is also a good one. Yeah, perhaps this one will bloom as well. So now she's really coming on and doing what she's supposed to for being such a good conditioned plant. Well, as I was thinking about that you wouldn't want to see this one one more time. Yeah. She's behaving strangely this time. She, um... Produce this one after the other ones faded. Yes. 
So, all of a sudden, she became a sequential, so to speak. And what did I find? Yet another spike. So, I must admit that I love this orchid. And she's going to be a favourite of mine for a really long time. If not forever. I love her. From Swarta. And this little uh, Salogeny type orchid. It should be kept quite uh, damp and good humidity and such. Yeah, all of a sudden she decided to bloom, to put out a spike for me, or shall I say for us. Can you see it? Yeah, it's difficult to miss. <laughs> now it's in the middle of the picture. This one is gonna make a cluster of blooms. Almost like, it looks almost like, a little bit like corn. <laughs> Whitish, white greenish looking blooms. Really lovely scented. Last for a bit, yeah, not so long, but uh, yeah, quite all right. Not long ago she she bloomed, so yeah. Now she's coming on and doing her thing. I'm really pleased. So you're gonna see her in bloom in my next bloom and spike video. And as I told you, I I was hoping for this one from Lucke, Elsie Magic Treat New Trick to open up the yellow one with some good whitish stripe on them um, but yeah, there's something in this sheath so I really thought it would develop but uh, yeah it didn't maybe in the future but she she has produced yet another one with another sheath so we shall see um, strange behavior perhaps she will bloom from both of them simultaneously then I wouldn't complain anymore <laughs> yay this lovely orchid Cattleya type orchid is from Lucke I Let's see what the tag says. Um, Elsie, Tropical Trick number four. Yeah, as you know, I got a thing for the Cattleyas with the name Trick in it. It means orange, and it means Halloween, and it means pumpkins, and it means bright, lovely, happy colours. Anyway, it I, I don't know if it's been blooming bef before, but it certainly has got two old sheaths with nothing in them, yeah. No, it hasn't bloomed before, but here, the sheath with stuff in it, so it's going to be blooms. It's already up here. Yeah, not much left to fill out. <laughs> Yay. So I'm, I'm not really sure what she looks like, but, um, hmm, yeah, 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 orangey-ish. It's going to be great to see it. Yes. And the lovely, shall we say, Yellow tiny twinkle from my previous Orchid Society meeting. Well, the one with eight spikes. <laughs> yeah, she's um, twinkles, tiny twinkles are opening up the buds in sequence, so to speak. Firstly, she opens up a few spikes, then she saves a couple of spikes to open up later on. So she will be in bloom for quite a bit, quite a long time, but uh. She only blooms once a year, I heard. I talked to the vendor a bit. Yeah, since these are the yeah the first tiny twinkle type orchids I've got. I don't know why, but yeah, I never came across them all that much. And uh, yeah, there were, there were other nicer orchids to buy back then. But no, I think they're quite nice. So I got a few. But anyway, in my next Bloom and Spike video, perhaps half of the spikes will be open. I'm not sure. It takes forever, as I said. Tiny twinkle, oncidium tiny twinkle yellow. Well, now I'm really curious about what's really going on with this orchid. The uh, lovely um, Grow Ration Orchid, RSE Crispin Rosales Lu Kang. What's going on in there? Is it developing or is it stalling? There is a bud. There's a lot of stuff in there, but it's developing so very slowly. I. <laughs> I don't know why. What's happening? Yeah. Hope for it to... Uh, well, it's getting larger, but... I'm touching it every day and feeling the bump. And, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm really impatient now. I would like you to bloom. Yeah. And the guy sitting next to it is also a purchase from Grow Reshner, Um, BLC Cornerstone Fine Circle. And that one is recovering... Yeah, uh, he didn't really fancy being reported or anything. 
but it's creating a sheath, a large, beautiful sheath here. Maybe there's going to be some content in it before long. And she's now looking great after being transitioned. Yeah, she doesn't fancy being uh, even touch this orchid. She's a bit fussy. So, but now she's, uh, yeah, her roots are green. She's doing her thing and she's recovering and creating a nicer, larger growth than before. Yeah, this one arrived in a uh, sheath with stuff in it, but the stuff uh, rotted off and got soggy and, yeah, stalled in the little sheath, shall we say? Yeah, anyway, good development and progress on this one. Cornerstone Fine Circle. Well, the Kitlea on the table now is my gorgeous Kitlea. Daniris Latulière is a um, an old Vacheron cross from 1964. The Orchidée, the Michel Vacheron. It's on the tag, Catlea Daniris. Yeah, and this one is Latulière variety, should be at least. And uh, its parents are Catlea Danae and Catlea Osiris, I think, and. This one has got over 40, uh, about 40.8 or so uh, percent of Cattleya Doviana in her and a lot of Wachibichi and stuff. <laughs> I, don't really I don't really remember right now, but that wasn't really why I was showing her to you. I got her as a quite a good sized seedling, shall we say. Um, she was about, yeah, pretend that this one is a Cattleya. About this size when I got her four and a half years ago in April 2017. And well, I really did think she would bloom uh, earlier than this, but I'm not saying that she's in bloom, but what I am saying is that she created her first uh, sheath, which seems to be uh, containing stuff. <laughs> yeah, ever. First one ever. As you can see, she's been producing a lot of good canes before, but really nothing in them. This is a really, really lovely discovery. I'm not saying that this one will bloom either. It might as well just stall and dry out or get soggy or whatever could happen to an orchid. But it's a beginning. It's a start. It's a good start. And now I really know what kind of size this one will need to be to be able to bloom. Yeah, uh, they're quite good size get layer now. Yeah. So let's see if we can see some blooms someday. Hope for it. And yeah, <laughs> even though this is not my creation or my doing, uh, this blooming on this lovely orchid, this orange-ish tiny twinkle, newly purchased only not even a week ago, but I will still show her to you in this Bloom and Spike video. Look at the gorgeous contrasts and color combinations on this one. And it's also scented. So, a few more points <laughs> to this one added. <laughs> and this one is also in... In Snail. Yeah, this one arrived <laughs> with it, I suppose. So, yeah, 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 I better remove him. But anyway... Lovely set of blooms. This one is called White Tiny Twinkle. Yes, gorgeous blooms. Not my achievement, but in the future perhaps it will be my achievement next year. I hope so, at least. That's the goal with the orchid growing, isn't it? Well, guys, um, <laughs> I guess this would be all for this Bloom and Spike video on the month of November. So thank you so much for joining me all the way to the end of this video. And, well, as you saw, it's going to be a lot more to see in the next Bloom and Spike video for the month of December. So, take care guys and talk to you soon. Yay! <laughs>